What's up, cousin? It's your boy, Trip, and I'm back with another video. You know, everybody had a lot to say. I read some of y'all comments. You know, some was positive. And thank you for all the positive people who understand what I'm trying to say. But a lot of y'all, nah, y'all just ain't get it. So we're going to get into some of these comments and I'm going to have a rebuttal and uh, read some of these comments and, and, and let's talk about it. Let's have a discussion because that's what we're here to do. You feel me? But before we get into that, I want y'all to check out this clip that's been going all around social media. Um, Let's just put it right here and when we come back, we'll talk about it. What's your dollar? I found out you gay. Tell me you bisexual. Why y'all so homophobic? For one, personally, that disgusts me. And that's one of the things that I feared that would happen to me coming up not because i was scared of anybody or any dude or person a dog cat a tiger lion the bear in the hood it was because i know me and i don't like to take l's i got too much pride while well, I, I had too much pride and if something like that would have happened to me it wouldn't have turned out well let's just say that um the homophobic thing that I've been seeing since I posted the tank video has been astonishing. I mean, y'all just letting y'all true colors out. Behind a computer screen, people just be who they are, but in real life, they be fake. You know what I mean? But behind that computer screen, behind that phone, when you in the comforts of your own home, you just let it all out, don't you? This video is disgusting because what I see is one a bisexual or gay dude and three or four other punks. So to me, they're on the same level. If you ask me, y'all some punks. Y'all waited around to jump that dude because, oh, nigga, you bisexual and I heard. What, why does that affect y'all so much? Why are you so bothered about a man and his sexuality and what he like to do? Shouldn't you be worried about your own penis? But you so concentrating and thinking about another man so hard that it's wrecking your brain, it's driving you crazy. What did that man do to you? You know, I see a lot of dudes I had to check a dude maybe a couple weeks ago. We standing outside and uh, some flamboyant feminine dude walks past and he turn up his face and looking all nasty and mean and he like, oh, I can't take. Dude ain't say nothing to you, but you so bothered by the next man walking past you. Nigga, he don't want you. You was about five two. And a hundred and uh, three hundred pounds. Why do y'all always think that just because a man likes a man that they want you? Why are you so threatened? Is there something going on within your own self? That's what I want to know. Y'all all homophobic. Y'all all full of hate. And that's that. I don't want y'all to agree with nothing. What I'm trying to do is get acceptance. Let people be who they are, just like you want to be who you are. You know what I'm saying? What the next man eat don't make me shit. That's what I'm saying. It don't affect you no way or the other. Y'all act like y'all so concerned about the world and all. Y'all don't give a damn. Y'all don't care. The same stuff that y'all preaching about that's in the Bible, y'all choose and pick the things that y'all feel like y'all want to choose and pick. The Bible says a lot. 
It does. It also says that a man shouldn't lay with a woman when she on her period. It also says that man shouldn't eat shellfish. It also says that you shouldn't have sex before marriage. It also says you shouldn't wear wool. But this is the biggest thing in the Bible that y'all choose to pick out. But y'all could do everything. Thou should not lie. Thou should not steal. There's so many things in the Bible that y'all do on a daily and just ignore it. Don't come to me pushing no Bible. I'm all right with God. I'm straight. He blessed me. Look, I'm good. I live in another country. I don't got to go and uh, punch a clock every day. I'm eating good. I'm living good. Thank God for blessing me. Half of y'all ain't even receiving the blessings that you should because you ain't living right. Don't worry about how other people living. Get yourself in order. Y'all jump that dude to prove what? What did it prove? Hmm? Y'all all cowards. One snuck around from the, uh, the right side. The other one sat there and waited till the dude got on the ground. And then y'all just jumping him. And you think that's going to change his sexuality? Y'all going to beat it out of him? Why do y'all care? Thank God that wasn't me because I would be in prison. And somebody's mama would be planning a funeral. A few people's mamas. Y'all got the game messed up. Worry about your own business. Suri. I'm here. How many people is it in the world? As of 2018, the population of world was 7,655,957,369. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You heard that? Ladies, over 7 billion people in the world. You ain't get it from me. You got, sir, you could check the stats yourself. Why are you so worried about the ones that's gay? The ones that don't want you? Shouldn't you be focused on the ones that you can get? What's the problem? Are you upset because the gay guys look better than your men? They dress better, they smell better, they getting more money? Hmm? What's the problem? Why are you so bothered about a gay man that don't want you? Y'all all in y'all feelings. Worry about your own man. That's what you need to do. Worry about the woman that your man is fucking. Are you mad because your man might look like me? Huh? You scared that he might have sucked the dick before? Y'all got problems. Worry about your own self. Stop worrying about the next man. You know, maybe it's a shortage of men out here because most of these uh, so-called straight people are in prison or dead. But you ain't got nothing to say about the crime and everything that's going on in the hoods. That's all good. You'll pump your man up to sell drugs and to, uh, do all of this other stuff in the hood. But you worried about the next man that's sleeping with another man. You don't care if your man a thief. You don't care if your man selling drugs. You don't care if your man steal. You don't care if he lie. You don't care if he cheat. He commit adultery. He fucked 20 people. He got 10 baby mamas. That's all right. But oh my God, if he sucks a dick, it's over. But y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. It's okay for y'all to be gay. Because, hey, if you eat a pussy one time or let a girl eat your pussy one time, you gay. Is that what you're saying? Oh, no, nah, we was just having fun. And then half of y'all dudes, that's one of y'all fantasies. To have two women at the same time. But it's okay for two women to do it. But it's not 
all right for a man to do it. That turn you on when you see two women kissing in the videos or anywhere else. That's all fine and dandy. We could pump that in society. What kind of sense does that make? If it ain't right for them, it ain't right for them. Y'all need to stop picking and choosing what y'all feel is right that suits you. That makes you feel better about yourself. You know, the whole tank thing was taken out of context. You know, if you steal one time in your life, does that make you a thief? Or have you stole once? If you lied one time in your life, but some of y'all lie every damn day, does that make you a liar? If you lie every day, yeah. But if you lie one or two times, does that make you a liar? Ladies, if you sold pussy before, because you needed to feed your cheering, does that make you a hoe? Come on, let me know. I had sex with women more than a couple times. Does that make me straight? So if a gay man sleeps with a girl two times, he's straight. Let's just put it in put. Or does it only work the other way around in y'all minds? Because I could go hit something tonight if I wanted to. And it'd be all over me. Sorry. Ain't my fault. Will I be straight if I did it? Or if I did it tonight and tomorrow, oh, thank God, I'm going to make myself straight. Because I had sex two times. I ate pussy two times, so I'm straight now. Y'all don't make no sense to me. Y'all homophobic. And I pray to God that you never have a child that's gay. So you can see how that kid is born gay. And he's different than every other kid. He might not want to do what the boys do. Or he, you just sense something like, yo, he not just like every other dude. What you going to do? You going to say the same thing to your kid? You going to beat it out of him? You going to jump him like the boys jump the boys in the video? You going to, what you going to do? You going to disown him? Kick him out the house? Stop feeding him? Starve him up in the closet? Tell me what you going to do if your son turns out to be gay. You want him to hide it from you? You want him to run in the streets and find some family or find some people that shows him love and affection because you don't? Let me know. What would you do if you had a child that was gay? Straight people. Women. Whoever out there who was all in the comments talking, tell me what would you do? Send them to church and had the pastor pray over them? Pray the gay away? Get them baptized? You think that's going to work? Y'all y'all be saying some ignorant shit to keep it 100. I'm not trying to push nothing on nobody. I could care less what you do. I don't care about what the next man do. All I want is people to love each other and to have acceptance. You don't have to agree with nobody. It's things that you do that I might not agree with. But that's you. That's your life. I ain't worried about it. Y'all homophobic. Y'all judgmental. Y'all judge people, but y'all don't want to be judged. It's a problem. Y'all took everything out of context. What Tank was saying was if somebody had an experience that he didn't enjoy and he realized that it wasn't for him, then he's not gay. One experience can't define your whole life. One experience don't define who you are as a human being or a person. You shouldn't have that whole thing on your life because you chose to do it one time. And that's why a lot of people are fearful to really be who they are or to even share their experiences with you. That don't define who you are as a person. Oh, if you sucked a dick one time, my brother, you, oh, no, you gay. You gay. Y'all think that really hurt people? 
This 2020. Y'all act like we back in 1920s, 30s. Like, that word don't hurt nobody. You can say it a million times. Homophobic. That's what y'all are. And half of y'all do to, you know, going all in. And I think so. I think y'all gay. Nigga, you gay. Now what? What is that going to do? Did that hurt your feelings? Because it ain't hurt mine. I'm good. Y'all females who want to push the Bible and send Bible scriptures and all. I, I know the Bible. I don't. You don't need to do that. I've read it. Have you really read it? You know, I'm good over here. I'm blessed. Trust me. God can bless anybody and everybody. Not just you. Or not just the straight people. He loves us all equally. That's what y'all need to be doing. Loving people. And accepting people for who they are and their differences. Instead of preaching hate. And intolerance. Y'all worse than the white people back in the days. How they treated black people. That's why we don't get nowhere. Everybody in the world ain't the same. Period. And like I said. What I said. One experience don't define you. Just like a girl messing around with a girl don't define her. It's the wanting to be with somebody constantly. The emotional part that's connected to it. It's not just the sexual act that makes you a gay person. Let me put it like this and then we're going to get into these comments that everybody sent so I can respond to them. If a man put on a blindfold and closed his eyes and laid back and received head from another man, in his mind he thinking it's a woman, it would feel good to him. Don't care who it is. It could be a fucking homeless woman, ugly woman. In his mind, he's picturing something in his mind and the act of the oral sex is pleasing him. But the moment he sees what's going on, he sees that it's a homeless woman or a woman that he's not attracted to or a man. That's when it's not pleasurable to him. So. If a man has sex with a man and mentally he can't do it, I don't care how good it might feel. He's not into it. My mind, I don't want a man doing this to me. So I'm straight. I don't care how good it feels like I want a woman to do this to me. Some people have been curious. Some people just freaks and want to see what it's like. I'm not saying this is for all men, but some have. You heard her say how many people it is in the world. And you think out of seven something billion, 355,622 and three, that everybody is doing the same thing. That's ignorant. And out of all them people, y'all ladies should be able to find something. I, I can't tell you. you. I don't know. Maybe you need to uh, write the men in prison and, and find you a pen pile to get you a man. Since, And they probably sleeping with men too. Man, please. Homosexual, heterosexual, people is people. You ain't got to agree with it. All you got to do is let people be who they are and it'll make your life a lot easier. Stop worrying about other people and, and worry about you. Worry about what you got going on. My brother, let me tell you something. Ain't nobody telling you to tell your kids anything about any sexual experience or what's right or what's wrong. You talking about you let your kids see you naked, hugging a mom, 
so he didn't know what's right and what's wrong? That's ignorant to me, brother. For one, I don't think any type of sex or anything should be pushed on the child. You don't need to be naked around your kid because the problem is with that, you thinking you showing him the way to be, but he could be looking at your penis like, oh, mine's ain't big like that. Oh, why daddy got hair on his and mine's ain't? You don't know what's going on through that child's mind. You shouldn't be forcing any type of sexual thing on a kid or letting him see you naked or the mama naked. What are you talking about? And just because you do that don't mean that your son won't be gay. You think gay kids ain't have straight parents? Or ain't see that type of thing? Or straight kids ain't have gay parents? Yes, what you do can influence your children, but something like your sexuality, that's not something that can easily be influenced, brother. If you ain't it, it you just ain't it. All y'all got y'all, you know, definitions of what y'all think it's going to be, but y'all ain't it. So you say, so how you know? That's ignorant. I don't believe no kid should see any type of sexual acts or any parents nude or anything like that, brother. So I don't know what you're teaching your kid, but I wouldn't teach my kid that. Good luck to you. Chloe. I don't see serial killers or thieves or whores trying to promote what they doing. Did you really just type that? Did you go back and read it after you typed it? Because I just want to make sure that this is your conscious thoughts that you typing across the page. Sweetie, a killer, a murderer, a hoe, those are all choices that people make to do, to kill somebody, to be a hoe, to steal. Those are all conscious choices that somebody makes. Your lifestyle and your sexuality is not a choice. Now, you can choose not to do it and ignore it and live your whole life unhappy trying to please you, Chloe, who don't mean not a damn thing. Or you could just be who you are and be happy. That's the problem. This isn't a choice. If I go and kill somebody tonight, I chose to do it. If I go and steal something from somebody, I chose to do it. If I commit adultery, that's my choice. You don't know what you're talking about. You sound ignorant. And I shouldn't have responded to you. But it just was so dumb I had to. You know what I'm saying? Chloe. I don't know what to tell you, but go have a seat in the corner. Sam, brother, is that my issue? Is that I'm trying to normalize something or hide who I am from somebody? Brother, when you got some extra time on your hands, which it seems like you got a lot to write something like that. Go and Google me, my nigga. And I know that's cliche, but my name is Trip Ali. And what do I got to hide, brother? I ain't never hear nothing, to be honest. It is what it is. What am I ashamed of? I'm a dope guy. I'm pretty cool. Nothing to be ashamed of, brother. That's another like thing talking out the side of your neck. Like you got a mouth right here. You talking out the side of your neck, brother. You don't know what you're talking about. I ain't ashamed of nothing. Period, my nigga. Nah, since you got so much time on your hands... Go and find out who I am and who I've been for the longest times and then leave a comment and see how ashamed I am.
about being who I am. <laughs> In my opinion, and this is my opinion, if you're a transgender and you've had a sex change and things like that and you dating men, I think if you're going to get sexual or intimate with somebody or you're trying to build a relationship with somebody, you have to be transparent and let them know things because this is something that can affect the next person. You know, if it's something that can hurt the next person or have them in their head worried and things like that, I think you should full disclosure. Let them know, like, I used to be a man, but I had the full sex change. Explain to them. Maybe they might get some understanding. Maybe they might rock with you. Maybe they won't. But if they don't want you, then that's fine. They ain't the person for you. But keeping secrets to get somebody is not the way to go. You know, because once they find out, they're not going to trust you. It's going to be messed up and they're going to be like, why you ain't tell me this from the beginning? Give me the option to choose if this is something that I want to do. Now, if you just meeting Joe Smoke on the, on the street, you ain't got to tell them nothing. You ain't got no dealings with them. They don't need to know your business. But the moment you start to get intimate with somebody and you trying to be with them or trying to build something with them, be honest. And like, why everybody so scared to be who they is? It's somebody out there who will love you just the way you are. Trust me. Janine. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life. The difference between men and women is uh, men is getting penetrated. And so are you making excuses for why it's OK for women to have sex with each other, but it's not OK for men because something in their ass is going to tear. When the last time have you been a man who got fucked? And some women get fucked in their ass too. You want to make this, that whole HIV and, and that thing don't, y'all need to kill it with that. Because y'all walking around with it too. But the difference is, y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even go check yourself. The man you sleeping with then fuck 20 other women. In the same month. Oh, but that's fine and dandy and uh, like, don't come on my page with that ignorance. Know what you're talking about. If you got something smart to say, then let's hear it. But don't come talking about some, oh, uh, when a man get fucked, his ass gonna tear and that's gonna create diseases. And You sound stupid. ASF. I agree. You know, I just feel like this whole separation of what a woman should be able to do. See, every, women want equality and everything else in life. They want to get paid like a man. They want to be treated like a man. They say we could do the same things as a man. But when it comes to certain things, it's not equal. You know, ain't nobody trying to be a woman. Don't know. I don't want to be a woman. I don't even like women. So why would I want to be one? I'm happy being a man. I love y'all ladies, but sexually, I don't want you. We could be cool. You my cousin, we peoples. But the whole thing of, oh, uh, we could do this. We could eat a pussy. We could have a threesome and do this and, and we still straight. But a man can't. It's a double standard. And I'm not saying every man wants to do this. And that's where y'all are getting it wrong. Every man doesn't want to have those experiences. And if you don't, that's fine with you. Nobody's trying to push nothing on you. But y'all have to recognize that this is here and it ain't going nowhere. It ain't. It's been around since the beginning of the time. Ain't nothing new under the sun. And y'all still mad and upset in 2020. Y'all so homophobic, it's, it's crazy. And I don't get why. It's a double standard and it's not fair 
but it is what it is in this community, in the black community, mostly. And that is what it is. And I'm not trying to tear down black women. My mama is a black woman. All my cousins, a lot of them are black women. And they on this channel too. They watching just like y'all. The same things I say to my people in the living room, I say to you, cousin. It is what it is. You don't have to agree with me. And that's what this channel is about. You free to feel how you want to feel. We all can rock out together. And that's all I'm trying to tell you. You free to feel how you want to feel. I'm free to feel how I want to feel. And he free to feel how he want to feel. It's all good. We all here to get an understanding. Onyx Fear. Brother. Let me tell you something about me, man. Because I know you're probably new to the channel. I don't know how you found the video. It probably popped up on the side thing. You seen something that you wanted to click on and, 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 you, and you found me. I'm thankful for, you know, you can subscribe. We all cool here. Or you don't have to. But. I ain't the one to delete comments because I'm not that 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 dude. I really don't care what you have to say. I'm still going to feel the way I feel. Now, I learn a lot from people in their comments. I might see a different perspective just like you might. And that's what we all here for, like I said, to have open dialogue and conversation, you know. But deleting comments is something that I don't do. That's a sucker route. You saying something dumb or crazy only expose who you are. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you say. Trust me, I'm built tough. I ain't worried about it. Now, <clears throat> me comparing molestation to uh, the whole gay thing, I feel like it was taken out of context, but at the same time, maybe I shouldn't have used it in this situation. You know, but what I was really trying to say is your experiences don't make you who you are, you know, and it just my thoughts got all jammed together. And if I offended anybody who has went through that situation, I apologize. But it wasn't my intent to, you know, uh, compare the two somebody who was. You know something that was forced upon them versus something that somebody chooses to do it's two different things but like i said my intent was to show that you are not your experiences you know some people have been molested and they straight some people have been molested and and they gay you know but my bad i'm only human just like you and just like everybody else but deleting comments, I didn't delete your comment, brother. Maybe you ain't pushed the arrow. Maybe that's what happened. I ain't got time to delete comments. So, Christy, you said you tried it with a female and it wasn't for you. And I understand. You're not gay. You know, some people do experience things that's not for them. You know? You might have did some things in your past that you would never do again. You know? That's how life is. And that one experience that you had doesn't define you as a person. Just because you slept with a woman one time in your life doesn't mean that everybody should put this whole you're a gay thing on you. I mean, you done moved on. You got a family. You got a man and things like that. Oh, you ate pussy one time. You're gay. I understand life is full of experiences, learning experiences, and you should be free to go through that. So kudos to you. You know, it ain't for you. It ain't for you. In conclusion, to all of this tank and homophobia that I see and all these Bible pushes and half of y'all don't even practice the word yourself, but you want to come tell me the word. 
Um, I'm not saying this is for everybody. All I'm saying is that everybody is different. Everybody experience is unique to themselves. I'm not trying to, it's not no agenda to make nobody gay. What type of world would it be if everybody was gay? Just like I don't want everybody to be gay. I, everybody ain't straight. You know, it's a world full of different people, different colors. And that's what makes it a world that I would like to be in. Stop worrying about everybody else, what they want to do sexually, and just worry about you. Ladies, there's seven-something billion men in the world. I'm sure you can find you one that loves you for you. Stop worrying about the men that don't want you. Like I said, I hope and pray that you guys don't have a kid that's gay. Because... I want to see what type of tune you'll be singing then. What type of human being will you be then when your child needs love and the world is against him and telling him he going to hell and this and that and he going to catch this and all of that and, and everybody against him. Are you going to be against him too? I ain't making up no excuses for nobody. Acceptance. Just like you want people to accept you. You know, y'all talk about Nobody, you know, pushes this whole thing of, you know, crime and all of this stuff on people. What do you think these rappers doing when they talking about fucking all these different bitches? Or popping mo mollies and Percocet or killing niggas on records. They glorifying crime. Robbing people. That's glorifying death. But y'all be bumping that in the club and playing it for your kids. Y'all got y'all kids singing and everything. That's glorifying the same things. That's in the Bible that say you don't do. So y'all talking about I'm glorifying somebody being homosexual or somebody not even homosexual because that ain't even what it's about. I let y'all then, then turn everything that I was saying or what Tank was saying into something else. It was about somebody who had an experience that don't identify as a gay person. Y'all didn't start calling Tank gay and all of this. And that's the problem. We got one person that's willing to stand up and try to make people see things differently and when he does it y'all tear it down black people are the worst most of the comments is coming from black people i don't see white people and all of that calling gay uh tank gay and all of these things it's y'all y'all so unhappy with y'all life y'all ladies is so lonely get a life my nigga get some money go get some pussy and stop worrying about what another man is doing with his dick. They don't want you. They ain't trying to fuck you. You ain't they type. Trust me. Nobody's trying to push no agenda. All I want is people to love each other. Acceptance. You ain't got to understand. You ain't got to agree with it. Just don't preach hate or look down on somebody like y'all been doing I ain't got nothing else to say about this topic I'm moving on you know what I'm saying if you new to the channel go ahead and subscribe because y'all already know man triple plug is lit we the hottest thing smoking on YouTube we the realest channel period and i'm just here to love man it's all good it's all love i don't care if you're straight gay female y'all all my cousin you know what i'm saying holla at your boy i'm out